Hey guys, it's Izzy here and I am doing a vlog today, but before we start, I did want to talk about something important and that being mental health. I just want y'all to know you should only be there for your friends, supporting them, and if you ever feel alone, just know that you're not. There is always someone there supporting you and people who care about you. I don't know what else to say, I just want to put a little thing in here about that. But today I am going to be doing a few things. I am going to attempt to finish Wicked Saints. As you all know, I have been in a reading slump. It hasn't The book is really good, but just my reading hasn't been good because I, I had mental stuff going on. Then I had physical stuff going on. And then I'm just lazy. Yeah, so I'm going to attempt to finish that. I have, I think, seven chapters and then the epilogue left. So it is doable. Um, So hopefully I do that. I may go to a Halloween store today, like the Spirit Halloween store or Party City. I know Party City has a costume I won't worry factor they did a few months ago. I It's a week from Halloween and I still don't have my costume because, again, everything, the same reason I'm in my reading slump. It's just been... So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to go to Target because it is Wednesday and that is when I buy my groceries. So I have to get food, obviously. Um, yeah, so those are the plans for today. <laughs> three chapters of Wicked Saints so I am 88% through. I even added more tabs of just some quotes that I would like to use in my blog post that I'm going to write about this book. So yeah I am on a pretty good track of finishing this tonight. There is four more chapters on the epilogue so I'm going to read two at six o'clock and then two at nine o'clock. That's how I do. It depends how many chapters it is. I just divide it by three and I will read however many that is at um, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. That's just how I read. That's what works for me. So I've been using the Skyrim Ambience for Wicked Sans and it has been really, really good. It's just, I, I feel like it's really helped my reading. So just type in Skyrim Ambience. I've used three different videos because they're usually like an hour long and it takes me, depends the chapter length because there was a really long chapter a really short chapter and then an average length chapter so it really just depends on how long a chapter is for how long it takes me to read obviously but I'm gonna read more at six but I'm probably gonna head out before that so obviously I'm gonna vlog in the stores and then I will update y'all on where I am in this. Here's my outfit in my messy room so a top shop leather jacket it does come with like a wool thing not real wool but fake wool around there but you can take it off and I only put that on in the winter. I'm wearing a Megadeth shirt from their website. Acid wash jeans from PacSun. Then my Nike Cortez from Nike. <laughs> oh, they had the hat but they only had the guy costume. But I found the Game of Thrones. I want to find this cloak so bad. But I don't know. But here's like all the Game of Thrones. Okay, these are the clothes. They're one size fits all, but I don't know since it's for men if it would, like, I don't know. That's really cool though. Here's where you're trying to look like you're in a metal band. And then we have the glam rocker if you want to look like you're in Poison. We're not going to talk about that. More Axel meets Slash? I don't know. Dave Mustaine. <laughs> I like the blonde bombshell, it's on the other side. But there's so many wigs and y'all know I love them. This is the one I want. And then this is kind of like the one I have because I have a Farrah Fawcett wig. Ooh, I like the short one, but I don't think I could pull it off. It was successful. I'm surprised I've never been to one of those stores before because I had the time I'm home again. Yeah, why is that there? That's so sad. All of the Christmas stuff out. I love Christmas, but I think it's kind of early. It's not even Halloween. But here's the reason I came here for food, and that means cookie dough and chocolate milk and mac and cheese. <laughs> so how I do this, we start towards the back of the store, and then we make our way to the front where all the cold stuff is so it can just stay cold longer. Because again, I don't look far from here. 
I don't know why I said again, like y'all would know that. Good stuff of old Halloween stuff back here. We've done videos on it in the past. There's the annoying noise because it would interrupt all my ASMR videos because when you walk by it goes off. And it's super annoying. So I'm gonna show you another thing that annoys me. I had to find the pasta owl. Which is there's people in it. Or not. It's this one I think. Yeah, up here. Who do they not have it anymore? So it can't go in my room. These I would have to buy them on Amazon because they have the Parmesan one in Target. They have it at Food Lion, but not Target. It's really annoying. I have to go around. If it's not here, it's usually one of the end caps. But I do need cranberry juice. Thank you to the people who recommended cranberry juice to me. Or right back here. Cranberry cocktail. I love it. It's really, really good. So let's see what it's saying. Chocolate milk. I get the protein ones. Sometimes I don't have those, so I just got so used to having the extra protein. Okay, this is what I was talking about when I meant they're on the end caps. Right down here. Right up there. So I'm getting two because I do plan on actually making the cookies this time. So the pumpkins and the ghosts. Now that is, oh, and I need to get the mac and cheese. So weird because I don't have fans. Okay. So, so, and there. I don't know if I can't pick it up, but there we go. One guy from all my videos. Yeah, so I'm going to go look at the books and the pops now because we haven't done that. That's why I just walked around this whole store trying to find my dad to put my food in the car and I'm dead because I'm wearing a leather jacket because it's cold outside but it's hot in all these stores and it's 70 degrees so see so y'all it's probably not cold but yeah have y'all seen the new Star Wars trailer yet um Big Boba Fett look at these these are so cool there's my favorite one I love these additions but I don't have a Blu-ray machine so I couldn't buy them but they do look really nice so then we have more Star Wars stuff, really cool. But that's not what we're here for. Here's even some more. I'm not gonna buy any of these till I see the movie. But yeah, here's Elton John's book. We were talking about this. I will probably buy it at some point. I don't know when. We still have all the romances up here now. I don't know why they moved them. I'm sorry I'm out of breath. As I said, I walked through like the whole store. So yeah, we have some romances over here. That's in my TBR. That's in my TBR. And probably that's, well, not that. That is in my TBR. <laughs> um, yeah, I have some books over here. These are more like self-help books now, which... I don't read and poetry is over there. So over here, Fahrenheit, I read that in high school, my junior year. Um, did you do? I have that. I plan on reading all the Star Wars books. George, you know I have it. I have that pre-ordered and everything. Um, that's on my TBR because if it's in the 60s or the 70s. I have done a video um, in here before. We had H.H. Johnson 6, one of my favorites. These are two of my most anticipated books. It's again the 60s and Generational Tales. Those are my favorites. I own this book. That's on my TBR because I got like an archaeologist and being an archaeologist is such a cool job but I don't want to go to college. So the winemaker's wife, um, do -do -do. there's the Goblet of Fire Illustrated Edition, another Star Wars book about Count Dooku, It, um, All We Ever Wanted, that was one of the first books I read this year, I did not like it. I have not seen that book before, I have to see what that is, the cover looks cool. Um, the library book, they have it in paperback now, Ninth House, um, Booktube's current favorite. 
after up there. It, again, we have a lot of Stephen King. Um, Summer of 69, that's a recent five star from me, for me. Christian Hanna, auto buy. Ellen Hellerbrand is now an auto, auto buy author for me, so we'll go over to the YA now. Over here, some of these I don't think are actually YA, and people just leave them in random places, so I'm gonna see a few of that. Um, to do Cassandra Clare, I don't think I'm ever gonna read a book by her, or um, The Throne of Glass, just I feel like the hype is just way too much for me, and I don't want to be let down as YA usually does for me. This is on my TBR. Ooh, yes, um, I think it's an apocalyptic. I can't say that word, but y'all know what I'm talking about. There is a book on my TBR. Another one. Girls of Paper and Fire was a five star from me. Look, this is a new edition. Oh my gosh, I got caught. Of The Hunger Games. Harry Potter. I'm currently reading Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, do, do, do. I don't see Wicked Saints, which I am also reading. So more like random books, I'm not sure. Some keyword on there. Um, I think these are again like kind of self-help books, cooking books, um, more cookbooks. All over here. I'm not buying anything today to let y'all know that. So we're gonna go look over at the pop section. We have John and Eleven up there. Um, I have that Polaroid camera and I love it. Ooh, a 90s trivia game. That'd be a lot of fun. So we just have a lot of the Stranger Things merchandise. Very cool. Um, some horror stuff. Then we had the Pops, the Office, and then Big Tenant ones. Um, you, again, I'm not really looking for anything at the moment. I'm just showing y'all what they have. Yeah, I mean, some cool stuff. There is a convention exclusive, which I did not know Target was carrying. There's Pennywise. I just saw him at um, the Halloween store. Got my picture taken with him. I'll probably put that on the thumbnail. There's Rowdy Bush next to Babe Ruth. Um, World Series is going on right now. Who's in that? So, I'm gonna win it all. I talked about that on the podcast. There's Howard Stern. <laughs> um, yeah, so, let's, uh, for Target, I'm gonna go home and read. Well, I'm gonna eat first. I'm gonna make a pizza. And then, read. Yo, know, I'm the only one walking down this aisle. It's kind of creepy. It's still there all by itself. So sad. Okay, so I am back home now, guys, and I'm going to show y'all everything I got. As y'all saw, this is a big bag. Not everything in here is mine, but I'm going to show you all the stuff in here. Here is my costume that I didn't think they had, and then I went looking, and it was behind an 11 costume, and it's the only one left and was in my size. So I'm like, that is amazing. So the, the mom looks like Shailene Woodley, but um, Robin, that's who I'm being for Halloween. So a sneak peek for a video that comes out, I think a week from today, and maybe, though, I don't know. I don't, I think it comes out on the Thursday, actually. So I ended up getting the bombshell blonde wig. It kind of looks like Bobby Brown, like when she, it looks like her in the 80s and 90s. I got that wig because I really loved it, and I just thought this looked more 80s than my fair Fawcett wig does. I mean, obviously it would look more... 80s and the Farrah Fawcett thing. So I got these, this again, like this, not all this is for Halloween. It says I like dressing up. So the Game of Thrones stuff was really tempting, but I don't want to spend all of that money. So here's the hat that I got. So then you just take, um, oh, are these are your name tags? I know the costume came with a name tag, but um, the Ahoy hat. I know, I'm only scared that I'm gonna get lice from these things. I can't put them now because that's in there. My dad got these socks, Oscar the Grouch. And I got a bullet belt because I've been wanting a bullet belt. This looks like really big. I know you like wrap it around like several times, 
that I'm way too scared to buy a bullet belt like on Etsy because I'm scared they're gonna be like real bullets and I'm gonna get like stopped or something for wearing them and get arrested I don't know so obviously these are fake bullets I mean I would prefer silver bullets than this like kind of I don't know what kind of color this would be considered but I got that and then I've been wanting one of these masks for a long time and it's like good material I thought it would be like cheap plastic but it doesn't feel like that so it just say like masquerade oh do you get in here he must have been in here the whole time Fred just came in because the door shut but just that and this goes good with wicked saints because they wear masks but I don't know it would be this kind of mask I think their masks cover the whole face but maybe I'll have to wear this when I take my picture for bookstagram tomorrow but that is everything that I got at the spirit halloween store it's a lot of fun and now I'm gonna eat some pizza as I said at Target and I'm gonna get back to reading Wicked Saints as I said I should finish it today if I don't I'll finish it tomorrow but I am super excited to see how it ends because there's so many plot twists in this book and a lot of them I haven't expected to happen so I have not very much enjoying. So I just finished two more chapters of Wicked Saints and I am 91% um, percent in and I probably could finish this book tonight because there's only like 30 pages left but just in the order of how many chapters I read in a day it, it wouldn't fit and it's already if I knew if I actually counted the chapters earlier because I counted them a few days ago I, I could have read more earlier but since it's already like eight o'clock at night I'm not going to finish this book today but I will be finishing it tomorrow but I just want to talk about my thoughts right now. I'm really shook right now at what just happened and I hope it's not true. It's not what Nadia think, thinks is happening because if it is I feel really bad for her um, but it's a really good plot twist if it is true what she's thinking because I wasn't expecting it like I literally wrote shook in my book because I'm shook. So I'm going to read um, two more chapters tonight and then as I said finish tomorrow so you can expect blog posts this weekend and on Goodreads you can expect a review there.